Hi everyone, my name is Frankie and welcome to a movie a day challenge. Today is day number 309 and it's November 5th, 2018. Today I'll be watching the 1976 western film The Outlaw Josie Wales. Now, in each episode of a movie a day challenge, I pick one film that I've never seen before. And then I take that movie's movie poster and place it beside me. I do this because I absolutely have no idea of what the film that I'm about to watch is about. And being that I have absolutely no clue about the film or what it's about, I feel like I need to draw some type of conclusion of what I think the film may be about, based solely on the movie poster itself. In saying this, let's go ahead and take a look at the 1976 Western film movie poster to the outlaw Josie Wales. Now, pretty excited about this week. You see, this whole week is dedicated to Western film actor Clint Eastwood. I mean, he's also established in dramas as well and other action films, but he's known for his Westerns. And being that it's Clint Eastwood, like, starring in this film, I'm really eager to see what, like, he has to offer to the Western film genre. So the whole week is dedicated to Clint Eastwood, as I said. We're beginning with The Outlaw Josie Wales. And this movie poster looks pretty cool. It looks like being, like, I, I want to say him shooting at something right now. Maybe he's just going guns a-blazing, as they call it. Like, he's got his guns right up here. It's a nice character drawing of him. It's, it's animated. Uh... He's got a really weird grin on his face, like really tough, like his nails, and he's got his guns. It looks pretty cool. I mean, who wouldn't want to just go see this movie based on the, the, the poster alone? You see a guy holding guns up with a really crazy grin, and it says the outlaw Josie Wales on it. I mean, come on. You know the guy already is an outlaw, so he's a bad guy. But I really wonder if it's going to be a bad guy movie, or if it's going to be like... He's a bad guy with the heart of gold in a way. But I'm hoping it's it, it's nothing like he's a bad guy and people are going after him type film. Because I'm really looking forward to Clint Eastwood being a bad guy, being an outlaw, and just taking care of business, as they would say. This movie is getting me very excited to watch it just based on the movie poster itself. A great marketing plan for whoever did this uh, movie poster. It is attracting my eyes to watching this film, and I'm very eager to sit down and enjoy the 1976 Western film, The Outlaw, Josie Wales. Now, after I finish analyzing the movie poster itself, I then let you, the viewer, know that I'm going to go ahead and watch The Outlaw, Josie Wales. But before I go and do that, I want to let you, the viewer, know that after I finish watching The Outlaw, Josie Wales, I then come back and tell you a little bit about the film. However, I don't go in great detail about the movie. You see, I don't release any major spoilers about the film, nor do I tell you anything about the plot of the film either. Why? Well, because I don't want to ruin your chance of watching a really great film for the first time. And since this is also my first time watching The Outlaw of Josie Wales, I wouldn't want anyone to spoil the film for me by telling me any major spoilers about the movie, or tell me anything about the movie's plot before I actually go ahead and watch the film myself. I want you to enjoy this film and be entertained by it. That's the sole purpose for a movie a day challenge. Now, in case you've previously seen the 1976 Western film, The Outlaw Josie Wales previously, then please feel free to substitute The Outlaw Josie Wales for another film for your viewing pleasure. It doesn't even have to be in the genre of Western films. This way you can take part in a movie a day challenge and possibly watch each film along with me as I go along. In saying that, I'm going to go ahead right now and watch the 1976 Western film, The Outlaw Josie Wales, and then I'm going to come back and tell you a little bit about the film. I'll be right back. I just finished the 1976 Western film, The Outlaw Josie Wales, and I want to let you, the viewer, know that The Outlaw Josie Wales is a great movie. A long movie, but a great movie. It has everything you want in a Western film. It has action. It has a story that is so compelling. You want Josie Wales to succeed throughout the whole picture. You don't want him to fail. You want to back your boy up and be like, hey, you know what? He can do this. He can do this. You could talk to the TV, try to coach him through it. You can do this, Josie Wales. It's a cool 
film, it's, like I said, action-packed. There's gunfire galore. There is blood in this movie, but it's tasteful. It doesn't go over the top. It is tasteful blood. There are Native Americans in this film, which is actually very cool to see in a Western movie. Not only that, but in this film, there is a little bit of, I want to say racism, but it's just, like, like, like very little racism. And it, it, it doesn't bother the picture at all. It just touches upon it during the time of the Old West. Now, the film in itself also touches the Civil War as well. And to see that portray in a film such as this made it a very big impact to me. I really didn't know that much about how one could coincide with the other. But it did. It worked hand in hand. Not only this, but please, understand... This, this is not a spoiler in any way, but if you're looking for a film about a person who goes from hell and back again, the outlaw Josie Wales is that film. He goes to hell and then comes back again. The man goes through everything in this picture. Everything. Clint Eastwood is an amazing actor. The performance he gives for the character of Josie Wales is impeccable. It is so cool to see on screen and what he does towards this character, the emotions, the, the facial expressions, the body language he uses, his, his slow talk, the acting skills he gives to this character to make that character come alive is beautiful. It is beautiful. And the cast that supports him in this movie is fantastic as well. The film is a must watch. It truly is for any person watching the western genre of movies. Would I recommend it to a family member or a friend? Yes, I would. Would I watch it again? Yes, I would. I definitely would watch uh, The Outlaw Josie Wells again. I would like to note one thing before I, I end this uh, little review of the film. There is a scene of nudity in the movie. It also deals with rape. Uh, I just want to put, point this out to you because the woman uh, basically has her clothes torn off. I just want you to know this before you go ahead and watch the film in case you plan on watching this movie with a younger member of the audience. Now, if you like today's episode, you see that thumbs up underneath this video? Click it. Give us a like for today's episode. As you're doing that, maybe you've seen the 1976 Western film The Outlaw Josie Wales and liked it. Maybe you've seen it and you didn't like it. Maybe you're interested in watching the film, you're hearing my review about the movie, you're going to go ahead and watch the film and then come back after seeing the, uh, the film and write something. Well, whichever the three may be, please tell me in the comment box down below. Right down there. And as you're doing that, you see that word subscribe underneath this video? Click it. Subscribe to a movie a day challenge. Now, tomorrow is day number 310 of a Movie A Day Challenge, and I'll be watching the 1985 Western film, Pale Rider. My name is Frankie. I will be here tomorrow for day number 310 in the 1985 Western film, Pale Rider. I will see you tomorrow.